So while the cases of COVID-19 have continued to climb, fortunately we've seen a, a slowing in the rate of new cases, the so-called flattening of the curve, which is obviously a positive and means that the measures implemented are obviously the right ones and that we're doing those in accordance with what we're recommended to do. This is obviously a good thing, however I'd caution people away from over-interpreting that as we really need to see these numbers fall even further before we can be reassured. The trajectory from here is a little difficult to predict because we're largely determining what that is. The measures that have been recommended on social distancing and hand hygiene will really have an impact on our trajectory if we can do this as much as recommended. In that if we slow the curve, hopefully we'll see a, a steady trickle in cases and we won't see a huge spike that will potentially overwhelm our health systems. If we do prolong this and flatten the curve, it's likely that we'll have to maintain these measures for around six months or possibly longer. But if we can keep it up and keep the curve flat, then we'll prevent a lot of admissions and a lot of deaths. I think everybody's doing a great job in, in doing their part in preventing the spread of COVID-19 now. And just to reiterate, the things we really need people to do is basically stay home unless you need to leave for essential things like shopping or medical care and to do your hand hygiene as much as you can basically. So whenever indicated, also cough etiquette and if you're unwell, make sure you don't leave the house. So while people can go out for essential things if they're well and just social distancing, if you're unwell, then you must stay at home. T to keep everybody safe, really we need people to do all the things that we're already talking about. It really is as simple as staying away from other people, the social distancing, stay home unless you really need to go out, and hand hygiene as much as you can basically, but particularly before touching your face, before eating, and after coming in contact with something that's potentially contaminated. There are a lot of additional things that people are talking about, but really most of these aren't necessary. And if you do the simple things right, as often as you need to, you'll be protected. If people need to be tested for COVID-19 at the MARTA, they can present outside the MARTA Hospital Brisbane Emergency Department where they'll be assessed and tested if required. In accordance with the wider recommendations around social distancing, we're restricting some access to visitors at the MARTA and for people to attend, they'll need to push an intercom and be screened to make sure it's appropriate that they visit.